picture that uh, uh, you included in the presentation. I wonder why in such uh, dry and and plastic uh, reason you have to focus on soil erosion. What what really trouble with, with soil erosion here? It is a research area. Okay, thank you. My question goes to the second speaker. So you mentioned that many technologies and technologies to the in your project introduced to the farmers, the projects, and you have the many success stories. I want to know is uh, how about the extent of the farmers? Uh, so you also transfer uh, or the disseminated technologies to the farmers, right? So I want to know that how about the extent of adoption of these technologies and is there any constraint for the adoption of this technology because these technologies are a little bit difficult to difficulty to adopt the technology of practices by the farmers. Thank you. Yes, uh, regarding to the cycle revision, because uh, in that line so why erosion? That is, uh, according to our uh, scientists, uh, because uh, you see a lot of the uh, land uh, the sandy soil, also the landscape is uh, uh, 0 to 5 to 8 to 10 degrees slow percent. But uh, you know, uh, rainy uh, condition, rainy pattern in the dry uh, uh, not uh, a slow rainy. But the uh, rainfall intensity is uh, very high. For the lower number, for the uh, one five inches, it will uh, rain uh, one night, maybe one day. But in our transit area, two inches within one hour, we have the rainfall intensity is very high. That's why, if the slow percent is a uh, uh, five percent, eight percent, in that the uh, soil type is a sunny soil, so easily eroded to the downstream uh, side. That's why, as you see in the uh, my slide. We have uh, a lot of the garlic formation in our Trizo area. But uh, in our Trizo area, we have undulated land in a flat. flat. Because uh, in the undulated land, we have uh, uh, Sapa, the farmer has Sapa severely eroded in this area. That's why uh, we have uh, demonstrated how to protect the soil erosion, how to fight against the soil erosion. Okay, for your question. Another question is that what constraints to the uh, dissemination of the uh, soil conservation technology? Activity. But uh, as you know, we have already seen a uh, slide. This uh, we have to use the rocket, we have to use labor, we have to use the stove. It's where resources we have to manage all. So, it's a uh, very difficult to disseminate this uh, technology. But the farmer convinced uh, in this area, in our project area, farmer convinced that uh, he have to protect the soil erosion. That's why we have uh, traditionally constructed the bar, soil bar or the stone bar, like this. but the construction method is uh, not uh, systematic. That's why the soil bars are within one way, one season, easily collapsed. Also, the stone bar. Stone bars, they cannot construct like a stone we are at. We have uh, piling the stone here and here. That's uh, not the uh, reinforcement. That's uh, no reinforcement to the stone mine. That's right. This uh, stone mine is uh, easily 
then we eat the collect. So as we, we implemented this uh, technology, we have to show our uh, systematic technology to the farmer in the erotic area how to protect and then protect the plant. Okay. This is the demonstration area. But some farmers, they have uh, take this technology because uh, we uh, we invite other the farmers from the neighboring villages and then we shoot them and then they convince there's the, the right technology and then they adopt it. But uh, they cannot do uh, to cover all their uh, plan because uh, it is uh, costly. Firstly, you know, one acre of land, if you treat it with the uh, uh, different structure of the uh, stone bar, stone bar, uh, sediment storage bar, if you put the uh, different structure, it will cost, the, say, about uh, $100. This is, just, uh, this is a maximum. But the public cannot afford it. So that, and now we are gradually uh, educate the farmer how he can get the investment, the microfinance. We are trying like that. Thank you. And, any other question related to uh, agriculture and climate change mitigation? Actually, this, this is not a question. I want to suppose that I want to support the a success story of Great in 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 uh, Upetan's uh, <laughs> area because I got the uh, you know small research grant from EEPSEA Warfish uh, to do the you know this um, uh, natural uh, resource economics field and so I contacted a research uh, to prove. The, the impact of soil conservation on crop productivity. And so, and at the same time, I will answer the Dr. Nyoma Trey's question in, in empirically. Because, um, and like uh, our senior uh, Dr. Tenginian said, and, and Dr. Tanaka also, the, the JICA group uh, know very well, because we are so, so much busy with, you know, and teaching and extracurriculum, our own research and supervising the student, etc. So we have um, several researchers simultaneously. So that's why I did the, um, the, the survey in during the April, but uh, my report just come out. So I will share with the uh, Upeta and and Seattle Tetsu if you want. So uh, the the study said um, the constraint uh, to adopting the soil conservation is that the first reason is uh, because of high cost. Because of high cost and the, the, the farmer said because of high cost they cannot adopt the um, soil conservation practices and then they complain about the it, it is a little bit complicated uh, technology for them and then they don't know how they don't know much, uh, uh, not enough available inputs, and then, and and then they, they thought this uh, soil conservation results come, you know, in long term. So they are not so much patient to invest in soil conservation and practices right away if they have incurred some cost. So those are the the, uh, the uh, some results of my uh, empirical study. And regarding the, the impact of soil conservation, um, I, I found out that uh, the, the, uh, I have two, you know, two groups of farmers who adopt soil conservation and not adopt that. So adopt that farmer has higher income um, per acre than not adopt that. So that is the, you know, great empirical research and I want to support Upetan's um, a presentation empirically. Thank you so much. Thank you. Any other questions related to uh, the potential role of agroecology? Yeah, over there. Maybe we take one or two more questions and then we'll close the session.
Some people look angry already. Thank you so much for giving me opportunity because I forgot one my question. It is it's also go to Upetan, uh, and you said uh, you practice some compose uh, technology and uh, to 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 conserve the soil. So in that case, I, I'm I'm very layman uh, in that field. So oh, I, I would like to I just would like to know as the general knowledge. Um, you, you know, if we make compost, it will come out a lot of heat, right? So, how come it will impact to climate change and global warming? Yes, uh, <coughs> we are uh, implementing the the like green manure also, you know, like the tree borer also, like compost also. Compost, when we prepare the compost, you know, compost, this, uh, and then apply in the field, you know, that's uh, the, you see, the absorb, you know, protect the evaporation, and then absorb the, the soil moisture around, uh, loser. Uh, so whenever we use the compost, uh, compost, we cannot focus all the, the tree. Mostly we use in the, the lime sewing of the, the you see the pigeon bee and the sesame. Uh, we use uh, compost and sesame uh, together. We grow the sesame with the compost. So one of the farmer, what he said is uh, this uh, resist to the crop, uh, crop mix with the seed with the compost, uh, growing on the such name pea and the pigeon pea. This uh, uh, one village uh, from our Mongolia township, he has uh, sent a message to us. That's why the every the farmer who applying the the compost and then line to it, this also absorb the, the moisture, and absorb the uh, maintain the uh, soil moisture, and that is support to the uh, root zone. That's why uh, some system it can be adapt to the climate change. This is uh, our experience of making make use of the compost. So, compost is a different method of compost we are using. Uh, bogasi, super bogasi, and then other methods. Yeah? Uh, leaf manure we use. Yeah? Leaf manure means uh, uh, neem leaf and other leaf. Yeah? We mix with the uh, powder and then we use on the, uh, uh, sorry, lima bean, like that. My name is Senda Ao and I'm Department of Horticulture and Agricultural Biotechnology. And then uh, let me add to answer the Dr. Shimatan's question uh, during compost. So whenever we make a compost, the heat comes out, uh, whatever the materials we use. But the, the temperature is around 55 to 65 degrees centigrade every time. Every time, and that temperature is not uh, like a negligible for the environmental uh, climate change. And then that temperature is very beneficial to 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 kill the noxious pathogens and also insecticide uh, insects, the noxious insects for our crops. So uh, that temperature is favorable for us, and we need that amount of high temperature. So maybe that temperature cannot be. Uh, dangerous for our climate change, in my opinion. Thank you. <laughs> also, have a question for you, Mr. Lupitan, regarding this uh, dry area. So, you, you, um, I was wondering if you tried uh, things related to residue management. 
Um, we know that in dry areas, small amount of residue less than three tons per hectare can have a, um, a, a tremendous effect on, uh, on runoff and uh, soil erosion. Um, but I, I don't know if it's something that you, you tried or you were expected to try. And I was also wondering, uh, in terms of uh, agroforestry system, you, you mentioned Glyricidia, but it was not uh, clear for me if it was only on the, on the bench, on, on the, the stone bench you were making, or it was also amongst the uh, more broader agroforestry system, such can be seen in Africa, for example, with the uh, Acacia Alvida, with uh, much more trees in the landscape. Yes, uh, thank you. For your comments. Because uh, uh, we are trying uh, uh, to conserve the soil moisture in the soil situ to see uh, one of the preservation in the slide that the conservation agriculture. But uh, we are trying to grow the cover crop. Uh, like uh, Muguna and then the Hospital. But uh, Muguna, Muguna is a, uh, uh, we don't have uh, not too much uh, success because uh, if we grow the Muguna and then if we grow the other crop, the Muguna country is uh, climbing the, our food crop and thank you. That's why we ship this ATP uh, not for the cover crop. This uh, seed production for the Muguna and the Pama uh, sell out to the, uh, the private sector. Another thing is uh, the Hoskram. 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 No, no, not finding. Go the Because this coming season, we are trying to grow this hot uh, bean for the cover crop. It is uh, better for the uh, <coughs> growing with the sunflower or other crop. <coughs> we have found this ATP uh, in the uh, one research farm. In the sunflower dry We can uh, pick up the pot and we can get the seed and we can get the biomass. Also, it's covered the soil and then protect the evaporation. Any other questions? Otherwise, we I think we're going to stop this session and invite everyone for, for lunch. Okay, thank, thanks a lot.